it. Hello. Got a few people there. Hello. Hey guys. <laughs> now just stand up. We've got chest standing up. <laughs> Hello, we're just getting the computer sorted. And this is Jess. Some of you don't know Jess. She's a new, an old friend in my life, but maybe a new friend for you, Peter. We're just trying to get it right. Sit down again. Make sure our heads don't get cut off. No, we've got to go back a bit with the chair. So chair has to be there. That's it. That's it. Oh, there we are. We're all sorted. So there you are. Jess is going to do. Sit back down. Jess is going to do the first part, and I'm going to do whatever she doesn't do. Um, so she can start talking to you. Okay. So make sure you have a chair that's nice and sturdy. Make sure around you is nice and clear of stuff. Um, things you might need is a ball or a piece of fruit or a rolled up towel. Any you have is great, just not something that's edible that will break if you drop it. Um, grab any sort of weight you want and this lovely little kitchen item, spoon or a stick or anything that's a bit longer to hold for some of our exercises. Um, make sure you have another chair for when we stand up if you need to hold on to anything. Come on, people, who we've got now? We've got a few more. So if you just joined in, this is Jess. Jess is my capable offsider, <laughs> and she's learning to do lots of new things ready for when we're going to be incredibly busy in a month's time. Yes. So keep talking, Jess. I'm getting used to this filming thing. It's not my cup of tea, but that's all right. <laughs> Excellent. So if you have just joined us, um, you'll need your chair for some of our chair exercises and a second one nearby, um, just in case when we stand up, if you need to hold on to anything. Um, make sure your area around you is nice and clear for me. Um, we're going to get a ball at some of the times or a piece of fruit or a rolled up towel. Um, whatever you have will work. Um, you also need a weight of some kind. Um, if you don't end up wanting to do it with the weight, you can do the actions without it. And a nice stick or a pencil of some description that's easy to hold and manoeuvre for me. So we've got a couple of minutes to go. Hope everyone's staying warm, though it is, it's not too bad today. So it's the first time we haven't had fire on through the day. So not too freezing. So I still wouldn't want to be outside for long in this. <laughs> oh, we'll get warmed up soon once that clock ticks over. Give everyone else a chance to arrive. Okay, one minute to go. So if you have just joined us, I'm Jess. I'm just doing the first bit of the class for Gillian. I'm just teaching me a few of the things. Um, Clear space, two chairs. Jessica, be nice to Jessica. <laughs> yes, I haven't done chair ones before, so <laughs> hopefully I don't step up, miss a step. Um, so, yes, two chairs, clear space, ball if you have one, otherwise fruit or a rolled up towel, weight or cans or anything that's a bit more heavy, um, and your stick or cooking utensil. I've got a nice wooden spoon here. Okay, so we'll start without anything and we'll grab some through through the routine. A few more seconds. Okay, a little bit longer. And then we can start. Oh, we nice to warm up a little bit. Even though it's not too bad of a day, I still have a bit of a chill. Okay, we are at 11 o'clock. We are going to start warming up now. So sitting nice far back in the chair, make sure that core is on for me. And we're just going to start on a slight march for me, up and down. Don't need to get too high. Just go at speed you want. So pumping those arms for me, getting a nice swing going so that those arms warm up too. Good job, a little bit more. And then we're going to move those hands a bit differently. Okay, 
Okay, once we've done a bit of marching, now we're going to go to side to side, opposite arm, opposite leg for me, stretching as far as you can to each side. Make sure you give nice breaths in this so you don't get too out of breath. I always forget when I'm talking to breathe, so if I'm a bit out of breath, that is why. <laughs> Little bit longer, nice big stretches for me. Okay, now we're going to go back into that march. We're going to go a bit faster this time, picking up that pace, increasing the walk through those muscles. And as fast as you can, and as slow as you need. Slow it down, so a nice slow march. Maybe lift up those knees a little bit higher as we're going a bit slower. Core is in because as we lift up those knees, it actually slightly crunches that stomach to do, give you some, a little ab workout as well. Good job. Okay, back to normal speed, normal height. Pumping those arms out. Good job. Okay, now we're going to stay in the same position. We're just tapping those heels out, out the front for me, and then pushing both hands out and pulling back. So out, in. Good job. So heels are going out, both arms. Pushing and pulling back in as we do it. Really push and really pull. Make that movement nice and deliberate. And those shoulder blades go back a bit as we bring those arms in. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, good job. We're going to go back to our opposite arm, opposite leg on each side. Hope you're all getting nice and warm. So hopefully your house is nice and warm anyway, so you're already nice and warm. Good work. A little bit longer. Stretch a bit further if you can. Make that exercise a little bit more. Okay, back to our marching for me. We're just going to punch across as we march. Punching diagonal at the speed you need. Doesn't have to match up with your march. Okay, good job. So we're just going to do a little stretch down for me so you can touch the back of your seat, stretching down. Nice big stretch, back up and down the other side. Nice big stretch, just as far as you can. And back on the other side. Good job, guys. Okay, so sitting nice and far back on your chair. And um, if you want, you can grab that ball or that fruit now or that rolled up towel. Um, so if you're holding that in your hand, I'll give people a little bit of time to do that. While you're grabbing that ball, we're going to be swinging those uh, legs up and down, just like that. We'll do this for a little while and then we're going to add some arms. So again, do it at your speed. And then when you're ready, we're going to 
swing out the opposite arm, the opposite leg. So passing that ball between those hands and doing those opposite arm and legs out at the same time. Good job. Remember to breathe. Work, guys. Okay, we're going to change that direction of those balls. So keep those legs moving for me, and then the ball, still opposite arm, opposite leg, is going to go up in the air. So up and then up. The towel might be a bit tricky to be maneuvering in your arms from side to side. So if you do have something smaller and maybe a bit harder like a piece of fruit, um, that might be a bit easier. Um, unless maybe it's a rolled up tea towel, which is a little bit easier to grab maybe. Good job, a little bit more of this. Okay, done. Sticking that ball in between our ankles. So we're holding it wedged in there. Reset that core, so draw it in for me. Roll those shoulders back, nice and straight. And we're lifting both legs up at the same time while keeping that ball in. We're doing this for 20 lifts. About 10, 10 more with me. Five to go. And five. Now we're coming up and holding. So holding there for me. Two. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Five more seconds. And down, okay, shaking them out, lifting them up a few more times, up and down for me. I'm gonna do that hold one more time. And then you've done that. <laughs> okay, five more. Two, three, four, five, and hold up for 20 seconds for me. Ten more seconds. And 20. Good job. Shake out those legs if you need it. And you can put that ball down for me. Um, while you're over there, we might grab our spoon or stick. Grab a drink of water if you need. And shake out those legs. My kids make me do that with them on my legs. so ball makes it much easier. Okay, so this movement, again, core still in, roll those shoulders back. We're gonna be paddling each side for me. So it's like we're dragging that through some water. Nice, big, side to side. Paddling back, nice, big movements. Warm up those arms and shoulders. Good job. A little bit more. Feel it in those arms. Been working on my push ups at home, so I'm a bit sore. Okay, give that a little rest. Now we're going to have that in both hands in front of our chest. Core is in, and we're stretching forward with it and coming, pulling back. Stretching forward, pulling back. Making sure we're sucking in that core to protect that back. Nice big movement, just as far forward as you can go.
Okay, good work. Now we're just going to do a bit of a march. We're going to be going so forward, up, side, and side. Forward, up, side, and side while continuing that march. Up, side, side, forward, up, side. Do this for a little bit. Forward, up, side, and side. And one more time. Forward, up, side, and side. Okay. Back to just a little march for me. Some of that paddling, so two hands coming down each side, nice and big, like you're pushing through, even not water, some nice thick mud, make those moves nice and deliberate. Good job, a little bit more. Okay, now we're going to kick forward for me and arms are going up, just straight up into a little shoulder press. So nice big kicks, just to the height you can and both arms going up. Good job. Okay, shake those arms out if you need. We're going to do one more of our little routine of going marching with those legs. Stick forward, so forward, up, side, and side. Up, side, and side, forward, up. Good job. That stick can go down. Now the chair is nearby for you. Um, and just make sure it's not in the way to trip over. Make sure that other chair is fit back for you. Okay, we're going to start with a little calf walk. So we're going to up on one toe. So toes don't leave the ground, heels do. And if you need, please hold on to a chair right in front of you. And you can do that. Nice. Just normal speed walk. If you don't need the chair, you can add some arms in there as well. We're just going to go normal speed. We'll speed it up a little bit and then back to a slower speed. Okay, starting to speed up a little bit. So go as fast as you can, but as slow as you need. Again, if you need, Hold on to that chair and just do those legs. Otherwise, bring those arms slowing down just to a nice slow speed. Keep going from one side to the other. Good job. Okay, I'm going to do a wide squat for me. So, big wide stance and um, toes are pointing outward, which means your knees goes knees go that way as well. Um, and you're going to go as low as you can, but don't go too low if you can't. Hold on to the chair if you need. We're coming down and up. So if you don't need to hold on to the chair, bring those arms up nice and high and back down. So it's about three seconds. One, two, three, up, two, three. One, two, three, up, two, three. One, two, three. Couple more. And last one. <coughs> 
Okay, we might do a little bit of balance. We're going to do some leg side extensions. So if you need, have the chair there. If you need to tap and hold or hold onto it, you're lifting that leg up to the side, but it is slightly back. So it's not coming forward. We're slightly behind those hips. And we're just going to be lifting slowly up and slowly down. So as I said, if you need, you can have that chair ready to tap and hold to rebalance. If you can, don't hold on to anything. Going for 15. We've got five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, going to the other side. So reset, pause in. The leg you're standing on's knee is slightly bent, not much. And then we're lifting to the side slightly behind if you need, holding onto that chair or having it there when you feel a bit off balance. Okay, we have five more. Three. Four and five. Good job. Okay. So this one we're going to stand straight on one leg. We're going to have the toe coming forward, right in front, and then circling back to behind. Move your chair if you need. Don't want to be bumping into it. So toe forward and then semi-circle back. If you can, do it without touching anything. If you need, have that chair ready. Good job. A few more of these and then we're going to swap sides. So moving that leg as fast as you can or as slow as you need. It's all about balance, so it actually doesn't matter how fast that leg moves. One more forward. And one more back. Good job. Swapping legs now. We're going to do the same thing. So pointing forward and coming around. Back and back. Forward. Nice and steady. Have that chair ready if you need. Few more of these. And we are done. Excellent. Last little balance thing. We're going to lift up that knee. If you need again, have that chair where it's lifting up the knee and holding. Um, if that's too easy, you can close those eyes. Just make sure you don't get off balance. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and coming down, swapping to other side. So raising that knee, finding your balance, and closing those eyes if it's too easy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, so bringing that other chair closer now. Um, we're going to do some slow sit stands for me. So we're going to have the chair. Make sure it is behind you so we can come down and come back up. You don't want to go full down to the chair. Go to what you can. Otherwise, do that nice sit down and come back up. So slower as fast as you need with these ones. I'm going to do 10 more. Let's see how many we can fit in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. 
single arms and we're going to slowly sit down so about 10 seconds sit down so one two three four good job reset that core for me roll those shoulders back if you interrupt me whenever you want to <laughs> pop in okay so we're going to march for me and what we're going to do elbow to side we're going to march and then bring up that arm to a bicep curl and shoulder press. If you have two weights, you're more than welcome to do both at the same time. We have to do both for a longer period of time when we swap. Two more. One and two. Good job. Swap it over for me. So keep that march if you can. Elbows locked to side. And bicep curl, shoulder press. Stuff, but <laughs> that's right. Okay, good job. Oh, shake out those arms for me, and we'll just finish off with a little bit of punch pressing forward with that weight. So, if you have two weights, you can use them in both hands or do the single punch for me. Otherwise, just have the one, hold it between two, and marching and pressing out. Keep it steady. We're going to reach forward with our arms and pick up the back leg. It's 
a bit tricky. You might need to hang on with one hand maybe, but try and let go, try and get your balance going. And the other side. So put foot forward, reach forward like you're getting something out of the cupboard, pick up the back leg. Let's try the other leg again. So put the weight on the front leg, try and reach forward, pick up the back leg. And swap around. Let's do the other leg again. So put the weight on the front leg, balance, pick up the back leg. See how you go. Good work. Righty ho. Okie dokie. Now do another balance thing. This time we're going to put the foot in front. And we're going to do those little semicircles. Okay. So if you can let go, let go. If you need to hang on, hang on. And pick your foot up and slowly move it back. Slowly forward, slowly back. Slowly forward, slowly back. Slowly forward, slowly back. Slowly forward, slowly back. Try the other leg, so put the foot forward. And if you need to fairy touch, then slowly back. And slowly forward, and slowly back. And slowly forward, and slowly back. One more time. Good. Righty ho. Now, sit back down, find your chair. And if we don't coordination stuff, all right, we better do some coordination. So we're going to do the two tapping. I'm going to put that chair out of the way. So we're going to go two, two taps forward, two taps forward, two to the side, two to the side. Two taps forward, two taps forward, two to the side, two to the side. Two taps forward, two taps forward. To the side, to the side. Now that's the easy part. Let's do the arms. So right arm, left arm, 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 right arm. A left arm, right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm. Keep going. That's the way. How are you going, team? Right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm, right arm. Left arm. How'd you go? All right, that's the way. Good. Righty ho. Okay, now we're going to try the other coordination one. So this is where we go two to the side, two to the side, two in front, two in front. Always opposite arm and leg. So opposite arm and leg to the sides, opposite arm and leg in front, two to the side. Two to the side, opposite arm and leg in front, opposite arm and leg in front. Good. Two to the side, two to the side, opposite in front, opposite in front. Good work. Righty ho, how'd you go with that? Righty ho, let's stand up and we might do the months of the year clock today. And I'm going to do slowly so you're not too fast with what we're doing. So, we're going to be pointing around the clock, okay, and we're in months of the year. So, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Got that? Move this chair out of the way. Right, so, right leg's going to point to December, which is number 12. We're doing the right side of the body. Now, I'm not going to go too fast, so try and keep up with me. 
and you've got to calculate the months by thinking about what number the month is of the year. Okay, March, January, April, February, March, May, June, February, January, May, April, June, March, January, February, June, May, July, April, March, May, February, January, and stop. Good. How'd you go? Right, let's do the other leg. So this time we're doing the left side of the clock. Okay. So December, November, October, September, August, July, June, and maybe May. So there's the left side of the body. So your leg, left leg is pointing to December, which is number 12. September, November, June, July, May, November, October, August, July, November, October, September, December, January, November, June, oops, falling over, falling over June, July, May, September, October, August, November, December. How did you go? Hope you managed to keep up with me. That would be good. Okay, we're going to do some lunges. We haven't done lunges, did we? No. So let's do a few lunges. Let's do 10 on each leg while we're standing up. Then we'll do one more balance thing. So we're doing 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, we're doing ten. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. Okay, now we're going to just do a little bit of balancing, foot in front of the other, trying to do it a straight line. If you're feeling keen, do some steps, heel to toe. Okay, so heel to toe, then walking back, heel to toe. So heel to toe forward. And then heel to toe backwards. If you need to I'll just fairly touch onto the chair, that's good. One more time forward. So heel to toe, very touch if you need. And then come back, heel to toe. Good work. Right here. Now, look for your chair. Mine's half a mile behind. Uh, now, I want you to slowly sit down. So fold your arms, and we're going to take 10 seconds to sit down. So you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and down. Good work. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to do a bit of that jumping over a stick, a imaginary stick. So we're going to put the heels down in front. Then we're going to come back. Heels down, come back. So heels down, come back. Heels down, come back. Now we're going to add some arms, and this makes it quite hard. So we're going to push and pull and 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 push and pull. So heel down, jump to your toes. Heel down, 
jump to your toes. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Good work. Righty up. Now, we're just going to roll our shoulders a little bit because it's quite hard on your arms doing that one. And we're going to do some butterflies up with our wrist. So butterfly up, butterfly back down. Other side, butterfly up and butterfly back down. Butterfly up and butterfly back down. Butterfly up and butterfly back down. Now two arms, butterflies up and butterflies back down. Good. Okay, we're going to do a bit more jumping over that stick or whatever it is. So heel down. Toes, heels, toes, heels, toes. Push, pull, 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 push, pull. Do three more. One, two, three. Good work. Excellent. Righty ho. Okay, now let's just um, stretch the body out a bit. So put your feet out in front. Slowly go walking down towards your toes. Come back up towards your knees. Go back down again towards your feet. Just get to wherever you can. Come back up. One more time. Come back up. And relax. Well done. Okay. Now, we're going to do foot, so stretch your foot up and down, pump your ankle, up and down, round and round one way, round and round the other way, other ankle up and down, round and round, back the other way, and the other ankle up and down, round and round, the other way. Okay, and up and down, round and round, back the other way. Good. Okay, put your right hand on your left leg, twist to the left. And put your left hand on your right leg and twist to the right. Good. Thumb up across your body. And thumb down. And the other one, thumb up and across your body. That's it. Good work. Thumb down. And hand on your shoulder, pushing up, stretching up. And the other side, hand on your shoulder, pushing up. And relax, well done. Okay, roll the shoulders. Let's see, put your hands under your chair, ear to shoulder, stretch out that neck. And the other side, stretch out the neck. And the other side, stretch out the neck. And turn and look over your shoulder. Turn and look over your shoulder. Well done. Okay, three big breaths and we'll finish. One, two, and three, and a big clap. Well done, team. And I'm going to come and talk to you. Um, hello, everybody. And Jess is just there on the other side. 
Now, we just need to start getting a little bit organised with equipment. Um, there's a major drama with ordering dumbbells because there's, like, none to be had in Australia. They've all been sold and they're on a slow boat from China. Hopefully they didn't fall off that boat that just lost all its containers. Um, but we certainly, I bought stacks of stretchy band and we can get balls. Um, I need you to send me an email about what colour band you want. So we've got blue, which is kind of easy-ish, black that's a bit harder, and then those thick silver ones which are harder. Um, and it ranges between $6 to $8 for a 1.2 metre length. So I need people to email me what we need because I'd like to use TheraBand next Tuesday if we can. Um, and if you're at Newland Gardens, um, and you've been just dropping off money at the office, you can just pay me in that same way. Or if you've been putting in my money in my bank account, you can pay me that way. So whatever happens, happens. Have a think about what you want and email me your requests. Um, so at least we can all have TheraBand and we can all have a ball. Um, so send me that. Let's get that started for next week. And then I'm still trying to work out the dumbbell um, lightweight issue because it's a problem. Anyway... Saying goodbye. Jess is going to come and say goodbye. Bye, guys. So she'll be back next Tuesday for more entertainment, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. There you go.